Dear Mr. John, as a highly qualified and enthusiastic individual with extensive work experience in the field of management and administration, I am applying for the position of administrative officer with Sun National Bank. My strong communication, administrative, analytical and interpersonal skills combined with my bachelor's degree in business management makes me an exceptional candidate for this position. Look at that very powerful opening statement. What are some of the common mistakes that people do when they are writing their cover letters? And probably you. Number one, it is using a generic cover letter. It is important for you to tailor each and every cover letter to the specific job and the company. Avoid using one fits all approach. The cover letter should complement your CV not duplicate it you don't need to mention everything in the job description pick three key things that you would really want to highlight when you go through the job description what do you think is the most important thing there what are some of the things that are directly aligned your skills your experience highlight those three or four ah this is another way in the body of the email you can highlight your achievements by having some bullet points welcome to today's training we are going to look at how to hook recruiters with your cover letter and i'm going to cover what is the purpose of the cover letter because once we understand the purpose it becomes easy for us to write a very powerful cover letter number two we will look at what are some of the common cover letter mistakes that you need to avoid at all cost then we'll transition to look at what are the essential parts of a cover letter there are several parts of a cover letter that you really need to pay attention to so that you can hook the recruiters and the readers there you can grab their attention hook them up and they have no choice to call you but to call you for an interview then we'll talk about how do you really customize your cover letter to the job description because it is in the customization that you can really stand out and we will see examples of cover letters here live so today i've prepared you will see the examples for you and towards the end we will have a q a session i want to request you to stay until the q a session because you will be surprised that is where some light bulbs might go on for you someone asks a question that you hadn't thought about but then you get to hear the answer and you're like oh that is the thing that has been holding me back so i really want to encourage you to stay in through the q a session and you will still see the value once we go through the session i also want to start by quoting thomas edison who said opportunity is missed by most people because it is dressed in overalls and looks like work have you ever passed on an opportunity just because it looked as if it is a lot of work have you looked back and as you reflected and see Probably someone took advantage of something that looked like work, but then it wasn't looking like an opportunity. But you avoided it because it had the overalls, it had the work. And this is to encourage you not to give up. It is to encourage you to put in the work, the effort. Nothing comes for free. You need to put in the time and the effort and have that growth mindset that allows you to know that I might not be good right now, but when I put in the time, the effort, the hard work, I will learn the skill, I'll get the experience, and I'll be good at it. And that is where the opportunity lies. And to focus more on today's discussion about writing a cover letter, most people have missed very good job opportunities because they feel like customizing Every time a cover letter for a job application, it's a lot of work. So why not just use what works, one generic cover letter and send it over and over? And that is where they're losing the opportunities. I don't want that to be you. I want you to learn from other people's mistakes and use this lesson, use this training today to be that turning point where even if it looks like work, you will put in the work and you will seize the opportunity. For those of you who are seeing me for the very first time, my name is Daniel Mutuku. I'm the founder of CareerPoint Solutions, 
and over the last 13 years, I've been blessed to work in recruitment, serving as a career advisor and also as a career coach. I'm also an author of several books, and today I want to you to focus on this book, The Ultimate Career Guide. And actually, some of the examples that I'm going to share with you today, live here, will be from this book, The Ultimate Cover Letter Guide, 101 Sample Cover Letters for All Professionals. And I'm giving you 100% free. Yes. So let's go through the training, then go download that booklet. Our mission here at Career Point Solutions is to help you become more employable and to increase your earning potential. And everything we do is guided by this mission. That is why we are here live training you 100% for free. And by the end of this training, I can assure you, you'll become more employable because you'll know how to write that cover letter that will grab the recruiter's attention. And once you get that job, probably a better paying job, you will have increased your earning potential and we will have achieved our mission. You can see how that falls into play with everything that we are doing here. What is the purpose of the cover letter? To make it very clear, a cover letter serves as your introduction to the potential employer. And its primary purpose is to, number one, to showcase your feet. In that cover letter, explain how your skills, experience, and background align with the job requirement. Very important. How has your experience, how has your background, how has your qualification all built up and aligned you to this job and this specifically job description? It is your opportunity to express your enthusiasm, demonstrate your genuine interest in the role and the company. And there are certain words you can use to actually provoke this kind of emotion whereby the person who is reading can see this person is really interested in our organization and the second or the third purpose for the cover letter is to help you set yourself apart differentiate yourself from other applications or other applicants how is it that you are different from the rest because probably you have the same qualifications you can be able to do the same role you have had experience in that role but what really makes you different that is the unique opportunity that you have to use that cover letter to set yourself apart from the rest of the applicants. What are some of the common mistakes that people do when they are writing their cover letters? And probably you. Number one it is using a generic cover letter. It is important for you to tailor each and every cover letter to the job, to the specific job and the company. Avoid using one fits all approach. This is where you put in the work. You need always to customize the cover letter to the job description. I know some people will tell you you need to customize your cover letter and the CV. Sometimes it's not important always to customize your CV unless there's something that you really want to showcase on your CV. But you don't have a choice when it comes to the cover letter. You can't have one fits all kind of a cover letter that you are always sending out there. And if you have been doing that, probably that is the reason why you're not getting any invitation for an interview. So the first thing I want to say, always customize your cover letter. The other thing I have seen a really common mistake is repeating your CV. Here's the point. The cover letter should complement your CV, not duplicate it. Why then? Should someone read some information on your cover letter only to find that again in your CV? Focus on unique aspect, your unique aspect. Like, how do you fit into that job? It might not be very clear in your CV, or that might not be the point of the CV. Your CV is to showcase all your experiences, all your skills, all your qualifications. But in this cover letter, you're going very narrow and very specific to the job description. So don't duplicate it. Let your cover letter actually complement the CV. The third one, I would say, ignoring the job description. I have seen people just, they know how to write cover letters and they can write any cover letter for any job, but they are not thinking about the job description. 
always address the key qualification mentioned in the job posting. I normally say, if looking for a job is an exam, then the job description is the marking scheme because this is where you get the information. What is it that the employer is looking out for? They have already clearly said, we want someone with this kind of qualification. We want someone who has this kind of attribute. We want someone who has this kind of experience. Your work is just to tell them, you want someone with this? I have that. You want someone with this kind of experience? Someone to do this? I have done that before. I can come and do it for you over and over again. So don't ignore the job description. Another mistake I have seen people do is having lengthy paragraphs. And in addition to that, also having a very long cover letter. You see, when you have a long cover letter, it will make the person disinterested in reading it. And to really grab their attention, try to keep very short, to use very short sentences, keep it concise and engaging. This is not a language lesson. We are not here to know how to best write in English or have a very, uh, follow this, what do you call it? Like English and grammar and all that. Yes, we want you to have the right spelling and all that, but because we want you to grab the attention, let the sentences be short, punchy, and engaging. Are we together? Must you include your academic qualifications? It's not a must for you to include, but if it is something that has been asked in the job description and you have that, then mention, say, having said you're looking for someone with a degree, with a diploma, with a master's in this, I have done this. So. Is it there the job description? Yes. It's not a must, but you can look at it. Yeah, ignoring the job description in the cover letter. That's a good takeaway. The essential parts of a cover letter. Now, a cover letter has several parts, and these are the areas that you need to really focus on. Number one, I want you to focus on the header and the salutation. So when writing a formal letter, maybe you need to drop it physically. It will be printed out. Include your name, your address, your phone number, and the email address. And also include the contact details for the company that you're applying for. And I'll just demonstrate shortly. Always remember to include the date, add your current date, when are you applying for that job? And then go ahead and address the hiring manager, who is the recipient of this uh, letter. So you can go like, Dear Miss Johnson, if you know their name, use their name. If you don't, you can go with the hiring manager or not whom it may concern. Yeah, that would not be. Or dear sir or dear madam. Yeah, that would still work. If you're sending it as a physical letter, remember how to write a formal letter. This section here, you put in your, right, uh, your address, your name, your phone number, your email address there. Include the dates. And then on the other side, you can still now put in the address of the recipient. You can put them on different sides. Nowadays, it's still applicable if you can have them still everything left aligned. And then go to the subject. This will be a bit different when you are applying by email. When you're applying by email, you don't need all that information. So all you need to do is say from then you put your email address. That is your address. You don't need to put in your postal address and all that. So the moment you are sending that email, it is from you. So that is already settled. Where you're sending to, maybe it is jobs at careerpoint.co.ke, that is the address you are sending to. And then the subject of the email should be like the reference. Remember, this is the subject of your letter. This is where you would put re-application for a job. So in your email address, you have the subject and it should be very clear, application for the position of administrative assistant. And then this is the body of the email. You start by dear hiring manager and then paste the rest of your cover letter in the body of the email. So the thing is when you're using email, it is easier. You don't need to really stick to the structure. You don't want to make again the letter very bulky or very long and someone will feel like 
this is too much to write or to read. So this is a bit different when you are using it on email. So you can see how well it is summarized. I took this screenshot to show you this is your address to who, the subject line, then copy and paste the body of the email here. And I'll show you some examples, okay? Second part of the cover letter is the opening paragraph. Here, you need to express interest. Mention the position you are applying for and how you learned about it. Also, briefly introduce yourself. Highlight relevant experience or qualification. Remember that question. Must you mention your qualification? The thing is, mention relevant qualifications. You don't need to talk about everything and everything that you have done. Is it really targeted to that job? That's why I'm talking about relevant qualification. So that is the first paragraph. Go to the body of the email. It can be one paragraph or two. But now in the body of your cover letter, this is where you talk more about your skills and your accomplishment. Discuss very specific skills, achievements, and experiences that are relevant to that job. Again, we're not asking you to list everything. You will put everything in your CV. Here you're just being very choosy because you are using the job description as the marking scheme. You are always referring to what they are looking for. In the body of your cover letter, again, this is where you showcase your company fit. Explain why you are a good fit for the company culture and values. Are there things that really stand out about that organization, about their culture, and you concur with them? Um, if you are applying for a job, for example, in a bank, do you have an account with them? If you do, that would be a good thing to mention. You are their customer, you are aligned to what they are uh, offering. If you have maybe, even it doesn't need to be a bank. It might be a company that you either use their products or services. Mention that. Then showcase your research. Mention what you admire about the company. And you're doing it in a very subtle way. There are some things you can mention. And because they are not just in front of everyone, it shows that you took time to research the company. Yeah. So this is a subtle way to still communicate you are interested in the role, you did your research, and this is how, and this is why you admire the company. Now we go towards closing now your cover letter. And in the final paragraph, these are the key things that you should have. Number one, so in the closing paragraph, reiterate your interest in the role. Express your enthusiasm. Just re-emphasize why you're really interested in this role or that company. Always have a call to action. When someone reads that cover letter and they're through, what should they do? Invite the reader to contact you for an interview. Tell them you're excited and interested in joining uh, them, contacting you. Have a call to action. Tell them, invite me for an interview and thank them for their time and their consideration. Plant that seed that you already know they're going to invite you. Thank them for taking the time to read your application. And they already feel they are connected to you. As I say, when you express gratitude, you are able to connect at a human level. And it's not just mere words, but someone would feel, oh, you really took time to appreciate me. And why not have you for an interview? Customize your cover letter. Tailor your cover letter effectively. Don't just write a generic cover letter. So how do you customize your cover letter? Analyze the job description. And as you go through the job description, this is where you identify the keywords that you need to put in based on the requirements. I told you, the job description is the marking scheme. So this is where you use, you get the keywords. And I'll just show you how you do that. Number two, match your skills. Align your qualifications with the job need. It does not hurt to mention that you're looking for someone with this kind of qualification. I have it. I have done that. Don't assume that when they go to the CV, that is when they will get that information. Then highlight relevant achievements. Showcase your accomplishments that are related to the role. Can you say what are some of the things that you have done in the past that has made you stand out and 
you are able to showcase this achievement. You know, the difference between achievement and job responsibilities or your roles is that anybody in that position will do those roles. But achievements are very unique and special to you. So try as much as possible to showcase. And I'll show you how you do that. And then use the company specific language. Incor uh, incorporate terms from the company's website or mission statement. Show them that I am just like you. So are you ready for me to show you some examples? So let me switch here gears a little bit. When you download the ultimate cover letter guide, this is what you get. And I'm going to, yeah, you can see it's very short, 14 pages. But as you scroll through, I explain what is a cover letter. I go ahead and show you how to write a cover letter. This is what I was saying. Let me try and zoom in here a little bit. Now, I want you to look at this example here. And this example, this just shows you how you can really customize that job description. This is the job description. So in this company, if you get in as an accountant, some of your key roles should be review and establish proper accounting systems, budget, uh, support budget and focusing activities, LASIC with internal and external auditors. So somewhere in your cover letter, you should have a statement that reads like this. I have the ability to review and establish proper accounting systems. In my previous employment at ABC, I was involved in LASIC with internal and external auditors. Said that if someone read this statement, they're like, this is the person we want. You are using the keywords, review and establish proper accounting system. I have already done that. I have the ability to do that. Want someone who can lie us with internal and external auditors. In my previous job, that was actually one of my roles, liaising with internal and external auditors. Does it make sense? Yeah. So we talk about, uh, this is actually the structure. Yeah? Here's the structure. If you are doing it a physical way, this is how you would write the, your address and contact. Then you have the salutation. Um, then the body of the email application for the position of then the first paragraph. I think I've just taken you through that. Uh, some quick tips here. Make it, make it brief, not longer than three to four paragraphs. Yeah. Concise. I think we have talked about this, but you can get more information and you can always be referring to this. So let me give you, here's an example. Yeah. This is an example of an accountant cover letter. So there would be re-application for the position of an accountant. They would say, I am writing to apply for the advertised graduate accountant position. I am a recent bachelor of commerce graduate with a major in accounting, seeking the opportunity to implement my knowledge and skills and make a contribution to your organization. First, very catchy, right to the point, um, opening paragraph. So here the person continues and says, I have experience in all the areas encompassing, encompassed by this role through both work and study, including account payables, account receivables, bank account reconciliation, statutory account preparation and tax compliance, including BAS, STD, whatever those things are, those are accountants. Those are the keywords, yeah? Payroll tax and budget. In addition, I bring a world of other essential skills and qualities that I have developed through study and various work experience. Teamwork, communication, time management, attention to details, presentation skills, customer service, and the ability to meet deadlines. So that is the body of the email. Then this person continues and says, during my university studies, I, de I demonstrated my ability and energy in maintaining accounting accounting related employment while studying full time. I believe that with my positive attitude and strong work ethic, I would be a great fit for this advertised position. You will find me to be a positive, motivated and hardworking person who is keen to learn and contribute. Given the opportunity, I will apply myself with enthusiasm to all tasks, ensuring that I get the job done accurately and effectively. My resume is attached and I look forward to being able to discuss the position with you further. You are sincerely in the name. You can see very short, straight to the point. And I'm sure some of these things like um, when you look at this, including account payables, all these things, probably these are the key skills or the things that you will be doing. And this person was able to get this word right from the cover letter or from the job description and use them in the cover letter. 
Okay? Let me showcase one more. Ah, this is another way. In the body of the email, you can highlight your achievements by having some bullet points. This sometimes is good to break the monotony of just paragraphs, but I think this one has so many. If you have three key bullet points, put them there. Uh, look at this one, administrative office cover letter. Dear Mr. John, as a highly qualified and enthusiastic individual with extensive work experience in the field of management and administration, I am applying for the position of administrative officer with Sun National Bank. My strong communication, administrative, analytical, and interpersonal skills combined with my bachelor's degree in business management makes me an exceptional candidate for this position. Look at that very powerful opening statement, opening paragraph. If you read that, would you want to hire this guy? Yeah, that is the value that you get, quite strong. Um, let me move on, continue read through and see what this guy has to say. Yeah? During my various administrative jobs, I have developed strong organization and time management skills, which would be very useful for Sun National Bank. My strengths lie in all the administrative work that goes into making any business a success. My claim can be supported by the fact that I wrote a manual of self, on self-training of new employees, which is still considered as the highest form of training material within the company ABC. I am experienced in all aspects of administrative work, handling customers, ensuring all systems within the company are running smoothly, training new employees, maintaining records, and communicating with force inside and outside the office. Furthermore, I am a strong-minded individual who has the potential to lead the staff while exceeding the expectations of the employer. Additionally, I am very proficient in computers, specifically Microsoft Office Suite and Microsoft Project. My enclosed resume will provide you with the details of my qualifications and skills which would make me an asset to your company. Then the final very strong closing paragraph, he closes and says, I would like to meet you in person to discuss further how I would utilize my capabilities to contribute to the mission of Sun National Bank. I will call your office during the coming week to see if a mutual convenient time of meeting would be arranged. In the interim, I will be available on my cell at 000999. My email address is that. Thank you for your time and consideration. Now, this is a very strong one. And um, I wouldn't encourage you to be that aggressive. You can see here and say, I will call your office during the coming week to see if we have a mutual uh, time where we can meet. Of course, most of the time they'll tell you, don't call us, we will call you. But I like the kind of um, audacity this person has. They're very confident of themselves. I'm not encouraging you to do this exactly like using these words, but hope you get the point. Is that okay? So those are the examples. So allow me to mention also how we come in and help you really take advantage of these uh, opportunities. We offer free CV reviews where you send me your CV. I will give you feedback what needs to be done. And if you want to take us on our professional CV writing service, that will be great. We give you sample cover letters. And the reason why we are giving you sample cover letters is because you need to customize your cover letter for every position. So with a number of sample cover letters, you can read through, get to know how to customize to the different position. And it's just a matter of copy and pasting. And that is why we are giving you the sample cover letters. We'll give you a LinkedIn profile guide that will help you have a very strong presence on LinkedIn. And we'll also coach you. We have online coaching. So if you're interested in that, send us your CV just to highlight some of the costs that you will come across if you decide to go with our professional CV writing. We have our basic package. We just include professional CV writing and sample cover letters ranging between 1,000 to 3,000 Kenya shillings. And for our international audience, it is just $10 to about $30. Once you send your CV, we'll tell you exactly in your case, based on how much work we need to do on your CV, how much years of experience you have, what do we really need to showcase that is what it will fall. And then if you go for the advanced, now it has all the services, professional CV writing, sample cover letters, LinkedIn profile guide, and online interview coaching. The cost will range between 
3,000 to 6,000 Kenya shillings. In dollars, it will be about $30 to $60. But send, us, send me your CV. We can discuss that. Take a look at some of the testimonials here. This is a conversation that we had with uh, Philster on LinkedIn. I was telling her, congratulations on your new role. Then she told me, thank you. Thanks once more, Daniel. After revamping my CV and following your interview tips, the results are position. So she got this position. I was congratulating her. After we did her CV, she followed the tips on how to answer question in an interview, and she got a new job. Here's another one. Peter Koech saying, congratulations. I was, again, this is on LinkedIn. I was congratulating him. Um, congratulations on the new job. And Peter said, Thank, thanks. Your YouTube channel really helped me throughout my four stages of interviews. I went through. So by just following and watching my YouTube videos, Peter Coet got the job. And that's why, by the way, I want to pause here and ask you, please make sure you have subscribed to my channel. I want to look you straight into the eye and tell you, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. This is one of the ways that you can support me. And when you support me, I'm able to bring you this kind of trainings free of charge every Thursday. Yeah. So one of the easiest way you can do just to support me, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends. And as you watch the videos, if you find something that is valuable, share them in your WhatsApp groups, in your Facebook groups, in your community, whichever, in your work, your email, you can just tell people, by the way, this is safe to be very valuable. Share a video and let it reach out as many people as possible. That is one way that you can support me. I have a special offer for you. You can get the advanced package right now for only 2999 All you can do is make a payment through the TIL number. Here in Kenya, that is buy goods and services. TIL number is 715732. If you are international, you want to make the payment, you can pay in dollars. You can use different payment method, a card. Let me know, drop me an email. So my email is Daniel at careerpoint.co.ke. Shoot me an email or chat with me on WhatsApp. Yeah, that's my number on WhatsApp, plus 254-732-209795. If you have already, we have done the CV for you, I want to encourage you now to join me for the Career Jumpstart Coaching Program. And this is for people who would want to go to the next level. Yeah. Are you really ready to get to the next level of your CV? It's not just about writing the CV. It's about us having that one-on-one -on -one discussion to see how best do we position you for these jobs. When you join the Career Jumpstart Coaching Program, this is what you get. Number one, we'll help you get clarity on your career goal, and we will create a career plan on how you can achieve these career goals that you have set or you have gotten clarity on. Number two, we'll help you identify and overcome any obstacles that might be holding you back. You might know some of these obstacles, you might not know, but we have been in the business for a long time, we know what holds people back. We'll help you develop a strategy for networking and building professional relationships. These high paying jobs, they're going through networking. And so building professional relationships is very important. We'll help you increase your awareness and understanding of your strengths and areas that you need to improve. And then from there, we have a one-on-one -on -one coaching call where we help you to provide you with that support, accountability, and to make sure that you stay motivated and on track until you achieve your goals. So I have a special offer for you, guys. If you're here, this is the special offer. You get what we call the Advanced Plus. Here, you get the coaching, you get the professional CV writing, you get sample cover letters, LinkedIn profile guide, and online interview coaching for only 4,999. International, you can just pay 49 US dollars. Drop me an email, I'll give you the details. But if you're here with me live, I want you to take action. Go to Lipa Pesa, buy goods and services. The till number is 715732. Next week, due to public demand, career 2.0, build a future proof path in the AI age. Are you ready to take your charge of your career in this era of AI? Are you feeling as if AI is threatening your job? We'll talk how do you position yourself for these jobs. So make sure you join me again here live next Thursday. Yeah, we do this 
every Thursday, 7.30 p.m. East African time. And now I'm open to the questions. So here's the question, yeah? I have a question. What if you're recommended for a job, then you are told on short notice to attend an interview, and you're told to go with your CV and cover letter, how do you draft the cover letter? Without the general description, and it's a position you have never done before. And how do you go about the interview? If it is a job that you have been recommended, then I would ask you whoever has recommended you, just ask them a bit more details on what is expected of you, yeah? And when it comes to writing a cover letter, in this case, if you don't have the job description, get to know what is the position, what is it about, and try to align your experience and your qualification to that role. Then how you do your interview, remember you're just showcasing your best self. And if it is a role that you haven't done, it is very challenging, but I want you to really think about what other experiences that you have had that your experience and your qualification align to the role. Even if they are very minor experiences or some things that even you're doing uh, as extras or extracurricular activity at your workplace, maybe as a hobby, find anything and everything that aligns yourself to that role. Is it advisable at the very end or to use your, your faithfully signature, then your name? Just use any professional signature or sign off. Yours faithful, yours sincerely, kind regards, then your name, just like that. When it is online, you don't necessarily need to sign. Again, it's not a must for you to have your signature, but just say kind regards and your name and your contact details, maybe name, phone number, where they can get in touch with you. That does it. What percentage of skills and qualification should you meet for any given job before you can apply? So you are not wasting your time applying for jobs. You are less qualified or overqualified. Thank you, Beauty, for the question. My advice is when you read through a job description, if you fit at least 70% of it, go ahead and apply. Yeah, at least 70%. So that means there's room for you to improve. There's some things that you can learn on the job. But if you have 70% and above, go ahead and apply. Is that okay? Daniel, allow me to ask when you are told to send the application attaching a cover letter and CV only. What are you supposed to put in the body of the email? Ah, I always say, have the body of the email as your cover letter, then attach your CV. You see, the purpose of the cover letter is when someone opens that email, they read those three, four, five paragraphs, they see that you're the right candidate for the role, then they are able to see your CV for more information. Because remember, you have said it's not a duplicate, it's just complementing. Yeah. So I always suggest don't attach your cover letter. Don't attach your cover letter. Put it as the body of your email, attach your CV. Can you mention your current, you're currently studying a degree, a degree they require, they are requiring? Yes, you can mention, but the judgment here is, is it going to add value? Is it going to make you as the right candidate? Or is it going to showcase as um, somehow, maybe you're not qualified, you're not yet there, you're not what we are looking for. You should look at it through that lens. In case you encounter a job post with the contact address of the hiring manager, uh, hiring company or employer missing, how should you handle this in the address section? Just write the name of the company. Company ABCD, you can either look if they have a website, they have an address or something, put that. If not, just say hiring manager, company ABC, then continue. Don't get stuck into the details, yeah? Is sending the cover letter necessary? If it is a physical one, if you are dropping it as a, it's going to be printed, please sign. If not, it's online on email. It's not a must to have a signature. Just says you are uh, yours kindly, then your name and your phone number or your contact details. That's okay. And the question: What is the right CV format for people with zero to two years of experience? It's not about the format. That's why I'll tell you, send me your CV for a review, yeah? 
the quickest way, get this phone number, send me your CV for a review, I'll look at it, I'll tell you how you can make it professional, yeah? I might not know much details about you, so I might not be in the best position to answer that, but yeah. But sometimes the job description is very long. Responding to every job description would amount to many pages of the cover letter. Yes, now I forgot to mention this. You don't need to mention everything in the job description. Pick three, pick three key things that you would really want to highlight. When you go through the job description, what do you think is the most important thing there? What are some of the things that are directly aligned? Your skills, your experience, highlight those three or four and go after that it's not a matter of you copy pasting the whole job description and changing the tense and the uh, and the grammar around it to show i can do this i have done this and all that yeah so don't get uh don't make it again too long the cv book is it free how can i access it yes the books are free the cover letter book is free so how can you access it go to careerpoint.co.ke forward slash cover letter and you get that book 100 free the best career coach ever thank you very much felix i really appreciate that uh, following you from kisumu dala Wick, wilfred karibu thank you thank you very much and just when you're saying okay thanks the best career coach ever thank you i really appreciate yeah even in darkness even in blackouts of these things eh? 